I got a cut and I don't know where it came from. Got some paper? Maybe, maybe. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been so long. Okay. No to rest. My heart's dancing. It's a love conquest. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't know why I said it that way. It's just been a while and I'm excited to be back and uh, renewed and refreshed. I'm ready for this next year. I'm so ready. I'm about to do like a Sheldon moment like on the Big Bang. How Sheldon is doing his flag show. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my own flag show today. Cuz guess what? Drum roll. This is not the original Puerto Rican flag. I don't know if you knew that, but if you did, great. If you didn't, yay, I get to teach you, kind of. But remember, this is a learning channel, so I'm learning, and you're occasionally calling me out in the comments, and I'm like, oops. But yeah, I'm excited to be here, and I, I wanna talk to you guys about some of the history of Puerto Rico. If you're Puerto Rican, stick around. You have to at least know this. I hope you're getting out, having the time of your lives. If you're not, I hope you're staying in and cuddling and getting warm and, ignoring the world for a little bit because sometimes you just need to do that right but whatever you're doing if you're happy i'm happy if you're new here and you don't know who i am i basically started this channel so i could learn more about the island of puerto rico my whole family's from there and i'm actually going back end of this month which is really exciting i just do a lot of videos on certain things like history things with puerto rico but also some diy and self-care stuff so definitely hang out relax all right let's begin so I'm gonna throw some dates at you. I did horrible in history and it was mostly because of the dates. So don't feel like you need to remember the dates, but I'm gonna put them out there just to give you some timeline. So in 1492, that was when Christopher Columbus first came to the island around that time anyway. I don't know if that was exactly the date, but anyway, they actually posted this flag. The F stands for Ferdinand II of Aragon, which is the King of Spain. And then Isabel I, she was the Queen of Spain. In the middle of the flag is a green cross. This was actually the flag of Spain. So, you know, when they were coming on, this was like, hey, we're gonna just post this up here and that'll be great, right? And the reason for that is because Spain used this flag in all their colonies. It wasn't until 375 years later in 1868. Okay, I'm gonna read this name because, oh my gosh. Uh, so Puerto Rican independence leader Ramon Emeterio Betances asked Mariana Bracetti to knit a revolutionary flag. I hope I said their names right. You guys know I, think, I have a thing with names and I try to get them right as much as I can. Okay, so Mariana Bracetti, she was the one to knit the Lars flag. This is the Lars flag. So the white cross on this is basically speaking to Puerto Ricans wanting, you know, yearning for their homeland, yearning for redemption of their homeland. The red squares are a little dark because it's the blood <laughs> pouring by the heroes of the rebellion and then the white star in the blue solitary square stands for freedom and liberty so so this flag was mainly it popped up in uh, i don't know if you guys have ever heard of the grito de lars rebellion that was against spain at the time and as we all know life under spanish rule for the puerto ricans was really hard was really difficult and so this is kind of how they chose to cope um and keep that piece of themselves. Yeah, they had no say in politics or anything like that. Taxes were steep. Pretty much any attempt at being like autonomous or anything like that was shut down. Yeah. But it wasn't entirely shut down, right? The flag still lived, still survived. Because the first Puerto Rican president, Francisco Ramirez Medina, he actually declared it the, the national flag and they were able to kind of post it up in the Catholic Church of Lars and it became the first Puerto Rican flag. Now that flag is actually on display in a museum in Puerto Rico, I think, I believe. It's the University of Puerto Rico's museum. Now, there was a little bit of a tough, like a tug of war in that instance because it wasn't just the Puerto Ricans that had it. There was actually a Spanish guard or army officer. He took it first as like a war prize. Uh, uh, incorrect, no, give that back somehow, some way and now we have it, so that's really great. So then we're brought to 1895. Members of the Puerto Rican section of Cuban Revolutionary Party were advocating for Puerto Rico freedom and things like that from Spanish rule. They came together to design a flag that mirrored the Cuban flag, but had inverted colors. 
Sound familiar? So they made it five horizontal red and white stripes, a blue triangle on the left, and that blue triangle having a single white star. And apparently there's not an official person named to have like created this flag, but that's a big but. A lot of people who theorize it as being from Antonio Velez Alvarado. So he, it was theorized that he conceived the idea, but it was actually Michaela Dalmo, I think is how you say her name. Michaela Dalmo de Saras. Other people theorize it was Manuel de Besosa. This is the only picture I kind of have of him, but I don't, I don't know. He's like on the left, like he's the far left. I, I don't know. But this is actually the committee, the revolutionary committee. So it was theorized that he designed it and his daughter was the one to make it and to like put it together. His daughter's name was Mima, which I think is such a cute name. So she was a seamstress. She was basically saying that he gave her the proper colors, told her what to do, and she made that. So here's the, here's the key though, because the flag was made, yay, we love it. But there were two different meanings kind of at the time, in different, at different times, I'll say. So you don't know, I want you to ask yourself for one second, just like, what does a flag mean? Tell me to like, think about what it means to you. Okay, you thought what it meant. Now I'm gonna tell you what the two reason or two meanings were for the flag. Before 1952, it was actually still way illegal to, to even raise this flag and to show it. 1952 guys, that was not, it was hardly, how many years ago was that? So not too far away ago was it illegal to raise our flag. People were actually arrested for raising it. It was like insubordination amongst the US. But then after 1952, when Puerto Rico became Commonwealth, they were able to use the flag. That's when the flag was officially adopted. But the symbols were updated, right? To align with the new whatever way of life. So before 1952, when it was illegal, this is what it stood for. The red stripes were the blood of the brave the warriors that fought. The white stripes symbolize peace and victory after the independence. And the blue stood for the sky and the ocean, which I thought was really sweet. So she, the coastal waters. And the lone star embodied the island itself. I thought that was kind of sweet. Now, after 50, 1952, the red stripes came to blood nourishing the trees of the government. The white stripes symbolize individual liberty and balanced government. The blue stripes were for, for the Republican government and the Lone Star stood for the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. So that's our flag's history. I feel like I have a newfound understanding of the trials that our ancestors went through. They went through so much. They did their very best to maintain themselves and who they were as people, despite all the craziness from the past. So now when I see like someone who has a bumper sticker of the Puerto Rican flag or they have sometimes those dangly things from the car with the Puerto Rican flag, I always love seeing those. I'm just like, ah, Puerto Rican, she's Puerto Rican. They're Puerto Rican. I just love it. It's great to know like that we're here. We're here after all that. And we are thriving, <laughs> unapologetically so, right? So yeah, but like I was saying, I'm going to Puerto Rico in about two weeks or so. So I'm really excited to go see my mom, go just go back to the island and have a good time. I will definitely be bringing you with me. Are you kidding me? Of course, you're coming with me. And like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I cannot wait to go to Puerto Rico. Okay. But anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Let me know in the comments what you thought about our flag, why, what it meant to you. I think that's important and I'd like to know. So put it in the comments, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. I will talk to you guys soon. Follow me on Instagram, yes underscore enchanted. If your heart so desires, no pressure, never any pressure. Just know that you guys are beautiful and wonderful. And I can't wait to talk to you more in this new year. So bye.